Welcome to Things You Should Know, The Great War. Today we're going to move back to the Serbian campaign, this time specifically to Kosovo, located in southeastern Serbia for what is called the Kosovo Offensive, this time between German, Austro-Hungarian, and Bulgarian forces under the command of German Army Group Mackensen against elements of Serbian military with their designation unknown between the dates of November 10th and 24th, 1915. This time, the Prussian commander Field Marshal Anton Ludwig Frederick August von Mackensen, the most awesome wearer of the Merlitzen hat, a remnant of his time as a hussar, and long before the skull motif was stolen by the cowardly SS in Hitler's Germany, and subject of one of our Great War Extra episodes, was the overall commander for the Central Powers forces of the battle. Mackensen commanded the 1st, 3rd, and 11th Armies as part of Army Group Mackensen and the Northern Operations Group of the 2nd Army. Combined, this was approximately 80,000 men, 372 cannons, and 220 machine guns. The Serbian defenders, all part of Allied East Army, their overall commander was Serbian Field Marshal Radomir Putnik, a lifer in the military who had received 28 awards for service during his career. Between the Serbian commanders under him, there was approximately 150,000 troops. The winner today was Prussian Field Marshal August von Mackensen and his combined German, Austro-Hungarian and Bulgarian troops. The fourth invasion of Serbia officially began on November 5th as the Bulgarian 9th Infantry cut off the main road that ran through Nis and was able to hook up with General Galwitz's German 11th Army. Following up quickly the next day, additional German forces took the area south of Kraljevo, giving the Germans access to the Ibar River Valley. Using this, Mackensen pushed the Serbians back towards Pristina and by November 10th they had crossed the south of Morava at Leskovac, 18 miles south of Nis. After a few more days of fighting, Mackensen's troops pursued the Serbians across the Jastrovic Mountains, where the most direct route took them more than 5,200 feet above sea level. Even with the difficulty of the terrain, though, Prussian General Kosk seized the passes on November 13th under heavy fire from the Serbian 2nd Drina Division. Even after severe losses at Nis, Krujevic, Krusevic, and Kraljevo, the Serbians were able to keep their organization integrity and were able to hold off multiple attacks as they retreated without breaking and routing. The Serbians made a desperate counterattack and a final stand on what was known as the Field of Blackbirds. Unfortunately, the stand was not successful, and the remains of the Serbians were given the official retreat command by Serbian commander Putnik. By November 23rd, most of the remaining Serbian army had moved back to Kosovo, escaping encirclement, where they then headed towards the Adriatic coast. Mackensen realized the terrain and weather had started killing his troops as well. The harsh winter, high mountains, and desolate area meant men were freezing to death regularly. Intent on not wasting his men or resources, Mackensen ordered to halt the attack on November 24th, and by November 28th, the Berlin Command had stopped the attack in its entirety. The Serbian army had been forced out of Serbia, along with their king, Peter I, and on November 25th, the Serbian Command ordered the remaining army to retreat through the mountains of Albania and Montenegro, to join with the Allied French outside of the country. This included 400,000 Serbian soldiers and civilian refugees retreating towards the Adriatic coast and the Proklajic Mountains. They are also called the Accursed Mountains. They separated Albania and Serbia, where the refugees made for Duras, while being frozen to death, starving of food, lacking transportation, and dying by various diseases. The final insult was the constant attack on the Serbs retreating by the local Albanian guerrillas, they did eventually reach safety, however, by December. This resulted in all of Serbia being captured by the Prussian General Mackensen, but the large remnant of the Serbian army had lived to fight another day outside the country. This would become known as the Great Serbian Retreat, not to be confused by the Great Russian Retreat we covered earlier. The end result was approximately 77,500 dead Serbian soldiers, with another 77,000 missing soldiers, over 160,000 dead Serbian civilians, and while there are no official losses for the German, Austro-Hungarian, or Bulgarian forces, it is known that at least 47,000 Austro-Hungarian prisoners of war died when being forced to retreat with their Serbian captors. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, The Great War.